Good morning, and I mean really morning. It's before the sun has risen. It's cold at this time. Today, I am heading over to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, for my visa run. But my minibus is already here. Where was I before I was rudely interrupted? I'm now at Krabi International Airport, safe and sound, and far too early for my flight, but that's the price you pay for having a minivan rather than a private taxi. I don't know too much about Kuala Lumpur, other than it's a big international multicultural city, and the rest I'm gonna find out when I get. All checked in, my bags are dropped, my eyes are dropping, I'm very tired. Four hours sleep is not enough. But I have got myself a coffee and a croissant. So that's gonna see me through the next couple of hours at least. Well, I did it. I've arrived in Kuala Lumpur and picked up my backpack. It's a strange feeling having a backpack on again after having been in Krabi for two months. But it's gonna be nice to explore a new place, see a new country, find out what happens here in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, I've just arrived outside my hostel uh, here in Bukit Bintang, which is supposedly the shopping and entertainment district of Kuala Lumpur. It certainly appears that way. All checked into Sunshine Beds Hostel. What we got? Two, four, six bed rooms. That's not too bad. Kind of small, but air conditioned, and they seem like nice big mattresses. And it does seem like we're right in the center of everything, so that's pretty cool. I decided I'm having a little nap. I had to get up very early this morning and I went to bed late last night, so sleepy time. Well, I had a little granddad nap and I feel worse now than I did before. It can be the way when you do take a nap, it's the risk that we take. But I'm not in Kuala Lumpur for very long and I also haven't eaten today, so I am gonna go explore and find some food and maybe come back to the hostel soon if I am too tired. First up, I found on TripAdvisor a place called Burger on 16, which is the number three rated restaurant on TripAdvisor for Kuala Lumpur, and it's only 0.6 kilometers away from where I'm staying. So that's pretty good. Well, whilst that was a really, really nice chickpea burger and french fries, that restaurant is number three in Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia, which would give me very, very high expectation. Although I have heard the food here is really nice and that isn't like locals food, that's Western food. So I'll be giving Malaysian food a try next time I find somewhere. Good afternoon, yes, afternoon from Kuala Lumpur. I did not get out of bed till 11 o'clock and I didn't get out of the hostel till gone one o'clock. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm really lazy. I think there's a mosque nearby. That's really loud, I do apologize. So last night I actually ended up having a really nice time. I went to get a nice little falafel for dinner, which was great. There's a lot of Middle Eastern influence over here. Following that, I took a walk around Bukit Bintang, but at night time it turns into something a little bit nicer than it is in the daytime. In the daytime it's just shopping. In the nighttime there's lights and performers and street sellers and all kinds of stuff. And after that I went to one of Kuala Lumpur's only gay bars, which was an experience to say the least. It's very expensive, paid entrance, which you can expect for a business that's taking a slight risk because here in Malaysia it is illegal to be gay. And then the drinks themselves were actually way more expensive than the UK anyway. I paid about £4.50 for less than a pint of Carlsberg. It was a nice experience and I got to see some drag, which was pretty cool. But I'm not sure I'll be heading back there tonight because it's well and truly broken the budget. And there was about three people in there and all of them were staring at their phones. But it was nice to support a local LGBT business anyway. Now I'm just taking a walk in this lovely park, which is called on Google Maps KLCC. It's right by the Petronas Towers, which I'm gonna go see if I can get a nice photo of shortly. The two main things that I wanna do in my time in Kuala Lumpur is see the Petronas Towers, which I've now seen about three or four times, and go to the Batu Caves, which I think I'm gonna do tomorrow. There's not a ton of stuff that I'm dying to go to here.
So let me take in my Catherine Zeta-Jones and Entrapment Fantasy. I am here outside the Twin Patronus Towers. Ooh, come save me, Sean Connery. I'm gonna rob a bank or something. Oh. It seems like wherever you go, you're never more than a few meters away from a super fancy shopping mall. They are everywhere and they're huge. Right around me right now, I've got Chanel, Rolex, Dior, Versace. I just realized it's two o'clock and I haven't actually eaten yet today. So I've come to this food court in search of sustenance before I pass out. Okay, don't judge me, but I went from Mexico. Uh, there's a million different options in this food court and we don't have that luxury. Where I am in uh, Thailand, it's just Thai food or sometimes Indian or a little bit of Western. So I'm gonna enjoy my junk food while I have the chance. Rice and bean burrito, nachos, french fries, and a strawberry fizzy shit. I feel much better for having eaten something, although I still have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm just aimlessly wondering. Interestingly enough, I've seen at least two or three times now two women holding hands as though they were a couple. Obviously, Malaysia is notoriously homophobic, but this seems to be something that people do here. Maybe just girls, maybe guys as well. It looks kind of small when you're up close, I think. Maybe. I've been traveling for six months and I've seen nothing of the sort. Ravina Blackcurrant, incredible. I'm so excited to consume this. This evening, I have found someone to go for dinner with, so I'm gonna go for a nice traditional Malaysian meal and actually try some of the Malaysian food rather than just having international stuff. This is my new friend, Harry. Hello. <laughs> so Harry here is making sure that I get to try some properly authentic vegetarian Malaysian cuisine. Everything is served onto this yonder banana leaf. Fresh lime juice, is that right? Yeah, and yeah. this is mango lassi. And mango lassi too. Damn. Can you please talk me through what exactly is on this banana leaf? Okay, we have, I think it's uh, zucchini. Zucchini? Zucchini fried zucchini. Okay. Uh, some like beans. Okay. And we have a salted chili. Salted chili. Yeah, the, like a cucumber salad like with a sour cream. Okay. I'm not sure what they call this, but they call it this uh, sambal. Chunky ketchup. <laughs> it's like chutney, chutney, I think. Yeah. And it rice, of course, with a dull gravy. Dull gravy. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you need to eat it with a with finger. It's more authentic. Show me how. <laughs> we just had a delicious dinner of nasi down pisan, nasi down pisan, which literally translates as rice on banana leaf. And fun fact, Malay language is like Malay Bahasa, right? Yeah. Which is the same as they speak in Indonesian, but apparently it's like Spanish to Catalan, which is why some of the words are the same, which is really interesting. I had no idea. I'm absolutely stuffed full to the brim. I'm gonna die, but we're going for ice cream nonetheless. Let's get started, going for ice cream! <laughs> for whatever reason, charcoal or ash is really popular here in Malaysia. This is coconut ash flavor. Let's give it a go. You're right, it just tastes like coconut. But you can tell there's a grittiness of charcoal in there. If you don't already know, durian is this dividing fruit that tastes disgusting, unless you love it. And I'm being forced to have durian ice cream right now. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Who buys that? Yeah, how are you getting Oh my god. Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> I thought I was a seasoned and well prepared traveler having already tried durian candy before. <laughs> but that durian ice cream takes a fucking piss. That was disgusting. <laughs> Harry for showing me the way Malaysians eat and the way Malaysians drink. <laughs> I myself can never get enough of live music and a power girl band is really truly the way to my heart. Uh, we had a fantastic evening and now I'm gonna call it a night. If you did like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
You can find my other social media down below. Subscribe, share, like, comment, you know the drill. I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.